Hey there, my name is Shanaha, and lately I've really gotten into online ranked battles in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I've been streaming myself climbing the ranked ladder, but I've also decided to highlight some of the more fun matches that I've come across, so I hope you enjoy the ranked battles, and if you do, it'd be great if you subscribe and like the video if you want to see more. Hope you enjoy. I've been hard at work grinding this team here, which is essentially the team that I was using for ranked rentals online. But this is all homegrown. These are all my team. You can see all of these, the original trainers are me. I trained up every single one of these from scratch. I breeded them everything. Tatsugiri, notably it has the ability Storm Brain. This is the exact same setup as the team that I was using for the most part of last week, except Tatsugiri and Dondozo are not going to be used as the combo pair where Tatsugiri gets inside Dondozo for the stat boost. Instead, Tatsugiri is going to be essentially by itself, as is Dondozo. So Dondozo isn't going to be a big physical attacker. Dondozo is built to be very defensive and very, very uh, supporty. He has Protect, Yawn, Wave Crash, and also Fissure. The other four are the exact same. Alrighty, Maddie, Murkrow... Hydreigon, Garchomp, Goldengo, Amoongus, Murkrow, and Mousehold. I'm very scared about the, the Amoongus and the Mousehold, as small as they may be, are kind of scary. Because the Amoongus has, what, Rage Powder? All of them, all of those bottom three can have, like, Follow Me and stuff like that. So, I definitely think Hydreigon in the start might be a good lead. Also, Armourouge, actually, because he might try and use Rage Powder, but Safety Goggles can kind of save me there. So, I might try that, actually. Yeah, I think I think that might actually work. Hydreigon, Armourouge in the start. Uh, I kind of want to use Sylveon for the the coverage against both the Hydra or not the, yeah the Hydreigon and the Garchomp in the back. I don't know if Meowskarada... I can use Knockoff against the Goldengo, which would be kind of nice. Uh, the Mousehold is something that is very scary, though. I might use Tatsugiri and hope that I like can outspeed it and nuke it down first. Right, it is a Scarlet player. Oh, also I updated my trainer card, so I have a cute little picture of the Pachi Reese's there. Hydreigon Goldengo. Hmm. Uh, Goldengo is, I want to say, choice spec, and Hydreigon is probably life orbed. He might terror right here from the start. He might terror his Hydreigon or his Goldengo. He might terror steal Goldengo for extra damage, or he might terror steal Hydreigon to survive. I think I'm going to terra steal defensively and then tailwind maybe and have armor rouge, armor cannon. Or actually, here's what I might do. I might terra steal dark pulse the goldengo and wide guard in case he does try to make it rain. By terraing to steal, I kind of cover for Hydreigon's Draco Meteor and I, he might have a terra fire Hydreigon with heat wave, but that also is covered by wide guard. So. I think this is the not really the best player, but it's the player that I think I am most comfortable with. So yeah, he's also going to Terra. Which one is it though? Okay, is it going to be Terra Steel? Fire! He might be doing. The, he might go Heat Wave. He might go Heat Wave, make it rain. In which case, this is the best opening for me possible. Uh, but Heat Wave would be a bit sketchy anyway because Omarouge has Flash Fire. But let's see what happens. Our pulse connects onto the Goldengo. Oh, and it's a one-hit KO. Oh my goodness, this is great. Please tell me he tries to heat wave and I block it with Wide Guard. Uh, oh, okay, he does break a meteor. But uh, thankfully, the Terra Steel does make it not effective. He does lose a lot of his special attack. Murkrow. Okay, so here comes Murkrow. This is Trick Room, right? This has to be Trick Room. I mean, not Trick Room. He's going to Tailwind, right? So Trick Room for me is almost a necessity, right? What are the tranches that Hydreigon tries to Draco Meteor again? I don't think he's going to Heat Wave. Oh no, even if he does, I think Sylveon might be the play here. Oh, but no, it's... Ooh, do I want to switch into Tatsugiri though? That's going to be kind of scary. Because if he... I mean, he does have minus attack though from that Draco Meteor. So I think it's safe to switch into Tatsugiri. And Armor Rouge can Trick Room because I think he's going to Tailwind here. Tatsugiri, having Tatsugiri in though is going to be a bit scary because if the Trick Room does go off, I don't know if Tatsugiri will still go, um, go first. I kind of need him to Tailwind here. Okay, he does Tailwind. Okay, this is fine. This is perfectly fine then. Heat Wave. Heat Wave is perfect. Dude, what a, what a read as well. That means that not only does it increase my um, Armor Rouge's Flash Fire, but Tatsugiri being Water and Dragon means it does basically no damage. This is perfect. I basically got a free switch in. So now we also move first, and Tatsugiri has both Muddy Water and Hydro Pump. I don't know what his final Pokemon is, but I'm kind of tempted to not Hydro Pump and just Muddy Water instead. Uh, actually, 
No, I, I want to just hydro pump it to ensure the kill, I think. And then I can use armor cannon onto the Murkrow. This should pick up a double KO, I hope. Assuming I don't miss. Ooh, the withdrawal though. Or maybe this is fine though, because Hy Hydro Pump can do a lot of damage. There. Oh, the Amoongus! Oh, this is not going to do much. This is not going to do much at all. But we do at least take out the Murkrow. We'll still have priority next turn as well, because of the whole Tailwind Trick Room. But... We do have safety glo uh, glosses on the armor, so we can kind of maybe avoid something like uh, a Rage Powder, maybe, I think. Also, wait, hang on. Armor should move first, so I think we should be fine. I can just Hydro Pump the Hydreigon. And since Armor will go first, he can Armor Cannon the Amoongus, and it should kill it. Which will let Tatsugiri take out Hydreigon, right? Since there won't be anything to redirect you. So, okay, he does protect, that's fine. What is Amoongus gonna do? Spore, maybe? Spore onto the Armourouge, which is blocked. Safety goggles. It's so great. I mean, it is a bit scummy because obviously it's closed sheets, so they don't know what the items are, but yeah. It's uh, gotta hurt. And a crit, but I don't think that matters at all. That would have absolutely killed no matter what. Final turn, we can just Psychic and uh, Hydro Pump, and that should pick it up no matter what. So let's Hydro Pump into you, and also Psychic. And yeah, there we go. First battle, first one of the day. I can't say I'm too, uh, not too disappointed with that. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Indeedy Armor Rouge, Garchomp, Talonflame, Mamungus, Hydreigon. This could go either way. This could be Trick Room or it could be Tailwind. An Indeedy and Armor Rouge start could be kind of scary. Because it could be like Follow Me, Trick Room, or something like that. So let me put Miascarada up front. Maybe Sylveon next to it? Hydreigon in the back. And I don't know if I'll... I actually don't know if I'm going to have Armor Rouge in here. I might... Because maybe I can get off like a reversal on the Trick Room, maybe. If I'm feeling lucky. Yeah, I think we just... You know what? Let's try it up. I, I don't mind. It'll be a learning experience, because I haven't faced many Ndidi Armor Rouge combos at all. And a lead worth. Hydreigon and Talonflame. This could be... That means that this could be uh, Tailwind, right? I might try and go for a Trick Room. I'm worried about a burn, though, happening from the Talonflame. Sylveon might also be in trouble here, because he might Terra Steel Hydreigon. This is actually a very tough lead for me. I think Trick Room... And thankfully, Sylveon has Protect now, so I might use that. I'm predicting he's going to Tailwind here, at least. So, let's see what happens. Okay, here comes a Terra. And a Welcome Vodka Cat. Yep, it's going to be Terra Steel Hydreigon. I think he is absolutely Flash Cannoning my Sylveon, so Protect is absolutely the correct play. So there goes the Protect. Question is, what is Talonflame doing? Yeah, Brave Bird. But thankfully, we live on the Focus Sash. Oh, no, wait, this is bad. That means that we don't have... He's not Tailwinding, then. Flash Cannon, we protect that. Hmm. So we get Trick Room off, at least. So that's kind of good for us. Not the best, because, I mean, Tailwind isn't up for them. But I think we should still outspeed now. The question is, do I switch in now? Because I don't want Meow Meowskrod in right now. I think I switch into Armor Rouge and I have Sylveon use Hyper Voice here. Do I even Terra Fairy as well, maybe? I think I might actually Terra Fairy as well for extra damage. Oh no, but it's Steel now. Um, hmm. I might, I might be cheeky and go for a Yawn on the Hydreigon. I have not yet used Yawn at all in the entire, like, what, 41 games that I have played? So maybe this, this is going to be the first time I use Yawn. Let's see how it works. Uh, flash Cannon is going to... Yeah, Flash Cannon onto the Sylveon. Oh, okay, we do survive at least. U-turn. Okay. His Hydreigon is pretty much almost forced to switch out now because of 
the fact that he has yawned. So he either he either takes a sleep or he switches out. So we know he has Talonflame in the back. What is the other Pokemon though? That is the question. Uh, Amoongus. Okay, so that is most likely going to be like a Spore or something. So I think I can Armor Cannon the Amoongus. Sylveon is in a very precarious position here because he could he could just straight up knock it out, but uh, it's hard to tell. I think he might switch his Hydreigon. Uh, we're still under Trick Room though, so me setting up Trick Room is actually kind of bad. I think I'll just protect as well. I want to see that Hydreigon switched out. Yep. Because of the Yawn. And let's see, is he going to bring out Talonflame again? Okay, yeah, Talonflame again. So... I should at least get a KO onto the Amoongus, right? Spore onto... Yep, safety goggles. Ooh, the berry reduces the damage. I don't know if this is going to kill now. Yeah, makes it essentially not super effective. And that also means my defense is lowered, so... This is going to be kind of scary, actually. I can armor cannon into that again. And I'm worried about the Talonflame just straight up KOing somebody. He could go for a double KO here, but we do move first though, so... Maybe I Psychic the Talonflame and hope I get a KO, double KO. I don't know if this is correct or not. I think this is absolutely... I am in uncharted territory. I'm just going with the flow. There's a withdraw. Oh, this is going to be the Hydreigon, isn't it? Or is it... The guard jump. Ah! Oh, wait, th that means the hyper voice is great then. Big damage on both of them, at least. And Omarouge, I don't know, will Psychic pick up the KO then on Talonflame? I hope it does. Yes, okay! Perfect turn for us, perfect turn for us. We take out the Talonflame and we get huge damage off onto the Garchomp. This is great. I lied about Trick Room. Trick Room was great. I was not in a bad position at all. This is perfectly winning for us. Okay, Garchomp is out. And uh, he still has his Hydreigon in the back though. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One turn is left. We have Meowth and Hydreigon both very fast in the back. So I am kind of concerned about the... Uh, what is it? Hydreigon in the back. So I honestly might switch hard switch into Hydreigon here because I think he might use Earthquake on his Garchomp. So I'm going to switch in and protect, I think. Because then the Levitate will mean that Earthquake doesn't affect my Hydreigon and Protect means that Sylveon is also okay. I am concerned about what this Amoongus might do. I don't think he's going to spore that slot, right? Okay, he's switching out as well. This is great then. If he's bringing out Hydreigon... Right, so... Is this good for me? Oh, no. He's, he's absolutely Earthquaking now, right? That's why he's switching in Hydreigon. So his Hydreigon isn't effective. So this just means that I can get my Hydreigon out now. I am a bit concerned because of the fact that... I don't have Trick Room anymore, and Sylveon is out. Sylveon, not exactly the fastest. I do have Quick Attack on Sylveon, though. So, let's see. I can Terra here, but I don't think I need to Terra for that Garchomp. I think a Quick Attack from Sylveon might KO it. I might Terra Steel to just protect myself from, like, a Draco Meteor and stuff like that. And Tailwind, so that when Armourouge comes out into the field, it can straight up armor cannon that Hydreigon. And I'm gonna pray that Sylveon can quick attack the Garchomp down. Let's see. Because he's probably going to Dragon Claw and like Draco Meteor or something. Might also Heat Wave. I don't know if his if his Hydreigon has Heat Wave. Quick attack. Oh, it doesn't take it out. And Rough Skin probably KOs Sylveon. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, but Tailwind does go off, so... If he KOs my Sylveon, we're great, right? Draco Meteor goes into my Hydreigon. Okay. Wait, this is... Yeah. He takes out my Sylveon. Is that choice? That must be choice to Garchomp if he's spamming Earthquake like this. 
But this is fine. Now I just switch in Armor Rouge and I Armor Cannon his Hydreigon. And I Draco Meteor his God Trump, right? I don't even need to, dra to Draco Meteor. I can just like Dark Pulse or something. I don't want to have to risk the drop in my special attack. Dark Pulse that and Armor Cannon that. And because of Tailwind that we set up last turn, this should be fine, right? Yep, yeah, he, he knew, he knew. He knew what was coming. I will say, my my Trick Room and my Tailwind usage there was uh, pretty solid, if I don't mind bragging about myself. Like, if it wasn't for that Trick Room allowing Sylveon to move first in some of those turns, and if it wasn't for that Tailwind at the end, Armourouge would not have outsped. So, I'm getting used to the, the concept of switching and, like, hard switching stuff in. I mean, obviously I got lucky there, because when I did hard switch, it was pretty much non-existent in terms of the consequences because he also switched and stuff like that. But still. King Gambit, Hariyama, Torkoal, Meowskarada, Dragonite, and uh, Perigraph. This is very Trick Room-esque, I think. They are absolutely going to use Trick Room, I think. Torkoal is a bit scary, as is the Dragonite. So I think Meowskarada, Armourouge is just the safe bet. I have access to Trick Room right from the start. And I have Wide God as well in case they lead with Torkoal. I don't know. I don't know. I doubt they would lead with Torkoal though. I, I think that might be a Guts Hariyama, so that's gonna be kind of scary. In the back, I will have. Who will I have in the back? Tatsugiri might be a good thing to use up against that Torkoal. Probably a normal Terra Dragonite as well. Uh, Hydreigon could also be nice. I think Hydreigon and Tatsugiri in the back. I just need to try and deny his tri Trick Room as much as possible. I'm not really sure what Feregoraf can do. Doesn't it have like a super strong. Like, what is it? what is its ability again? Isn't that like kind of useful? It's like armor tail or something. Like it's not affected by stuff or something. Uh, armor tail prevents oh it prevents you from using uh, priority move, so you can't use fake out and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine. I don't have priority move right now, but it is kind of concerning. Hurry armor and the. Regoraph. I might insta terrorize uh, here with Meowskarada. Not off the Perigoraph. And use Armourish to psychic the Hariyama. I'm just gonna go like full out offense right here. Because I, I don't really know what they do, so maybe I can just outpace them. Meowskarada should move first. I'm not too sure what that Perigoraph can do, so I want to go on ASAP. Oh, there's Fake Out. Okay, that's fine. Is it Trick Room? Is this Focus Ash Trick Room, maybe? Ah, Throat Spray. It's Armourish Flinches, that's fine. Okay, yeah, it is Trick Room. Ah! Uh, yeah, Flame Orb, Guts, Hurry Armor. I mean, I do have Trick Room myself, right? I, I should have absolutely done it right from the start. I have Focus Ash on me, Oscarado, so if I can survive this turn, I can get off a Trick Room here on my own. And, ooh, Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge in a bit of a tricky situation here. I might just try and tank this out, right? A wide guard, maybe? Because if he had, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if that Frigoraf has a th spread move, but I'm just going to try this out and see what happens. Uh, close combat onto the Meowskarada. It's Focus Sash. But here's the thing, does he double up? If he doubles into my Meowskarada, and I don't get Trick Room off, that's going to be very, 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 very scary. Shadow Ball into... into the Armourouge. Okay. It's going to take big damage, which is kind of scary, but... We do get off our own Trick Room. So that means that we are now back in... Uh, we are back in control. For now. So, Meowskarada can knock off you. So he either KOs or he switches out. And Armor Rouge should be able to get a nice Psychic onto the Hariyama. I am a bit concerned about maybe I should save Armor Rouge because he might have a King Gambit in the back. And uh, Armor Cannon would be very nice against that. I think he might switch out right here now though. So the question is, who does he switch out and into what? Okay, he protects, that's fine I guess. That's why we split our damage. If I doubled into the 
Hariyama, obviously that would have been great, but I don't know if this kills. Psychic. He did have his defense reduced. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, he did have his defense reduced from close combat, so... That's great for us. His Furuka Raph can also no longer protect this turn, so that's going to be scary for him. Uh, this is King Gambit now. But I mean... Ooh, he might have Sucker Punch. He might have Sucker Punch on this. He probably absolutely has Sucker Punch on it. I think I might switch out here. Into Hydreigon. And use Armourish to Armour Cannon the King Gambit. I don't think he... I don't think Sucker Punch would KO Armour Rouge. I could be very mistaken, though. Uh, I'm willing to take the gamble, though. I mean, Dog does do super effective to Psychic, so... I might just double switch. I'm, I'm gonna risk it. I'm risking it. He's probably he's probably Sucker Punching. I don't know if it... He probably is gonna kill. But, uh... Let's see what happens. Yep, there's Sucker Punch, but it's into the Meowth Grotto. Okay, he used it into the Meowth Grotto. This is great, then. Armor Cannon goes off, and it might actually KO the King Gambit. Yeah, it does. This is great. Faragaraf is probably going to Shadow Ball. And I also have an incredibly fast Hydreigon out now, so I can just outspeed whatever he throws in next. Hyper Voice. Ooh! Oh, wait, I forgot. It's not Sylveon, so Hyper Voice is still normal type. We do lose our Armor Rouge, but I mean, that's just, that's great. We get a free switch in now to our Tatsugiri, who can outspeed and pretty much just nail something. Uh, or do I switch in Meowth maybe? I'm gonna be a bit cheeky and switch in Meowth Overgrow Flower Trick can be quite potent. I don't think he has another Sucker Punch user, so... Uh, oh, okay, well, he might have a Sucker Punch user right here. Uh, okay, th that is that is actually kind of scary. So, I think Draco Meteor into you, and... I think Protect might be the play here. I couldn't mess this up, because that Meowth Grotto can be quite scary, so let's see what happens. He still also has his Terrestrialization, if I'm not mistaken, so... Let's see... Okay, he's also protecting. So it's a question of who is his Meowth Grotto attacking. I wonder if it's going to go into... Okay, that's perfect, perfect protect play then. So knockoff doesn't take up mine. And Draco Meteor should do quite a lot here. Focus Sash, yep, that breaks it. Uh... And we know now that his Hydreigon, or not Hydreigon, Raphrig can't protect, so we can just... Mm, Hydreigon should outspeed Meowth Grotto, right? We can just take that out and knock off the Ferrogaraf. Hydreigon should take out Meowth Grotto first turn. Oh, Dressalization. This has to be on the Ferrogaraf, right? It's too late for the Meowth Grotto. It's on 1 HP, unless he's going for, like, damage. Or Flower Trick, but I think... Hi Hydreigon might outspeed. Oh, it does not outspeed! Oh, this is scary. Oh, no. But, I mean, next turn we have Tatsugiri out, and... Meowth Grotto should pick up the KO first, right? So... We should win this. Because, I mean... We just double into the Meowth Grotto, and he can't take out both at once, so... We should be fine. Who would have thought that saving that Meowth Grotto with 1 HP at the start of the game was actually... The best play to do. Okay, let me also use... Oh my goodness. What is the most... What has the least chance of missing here? Icy Wind. We just have to... There's a 5% chance that we miss this. I hope. Let me also... Just for safety's sake. Guaranteed hit. In theory, he should attack my Meowth Grotto because there's a chance that Tatsugiri misses, but I mean, we should have this. Okay, protect, that's fine. That just means that uh, you're prolonging nothing, right? It's not like we have any buffs up that you can wait out, so... You just do the same thing. I see one flower trick. Don't tell me he's gonna, like, try and triple protect in row for, like, something. What do you, What would you even, like... 
fine, go for it. Yeah, Tatsugiri, Choice Golf, definitely outspeeds and takes it out. And there we go. Another win for us. How close are we to Master Rank? Probably like, what, another win away? Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, we did it! Your tier has risen to Master Ball tier. Rank 18,756. That's not actually that high. 18,756. So we are on the ladder at least. I think this is where this is where games start getting serious now. Now is where the ranked starts. Ooh, nine wait, we're playing against 9,000. That's like double my rank. I don't know if this is uh good or not. Also, yeah, we're no, we're no longer in the, the rental team Timmies now. We're at the actual teams. A Garganical and a Backscalibur and an Arbeliever. This is a very interesting team. Torkoal and Horiyama. This is a very slow team as well. So there could be a trick room going up here. Garganical is a very interesting pick. I kind of like the Garganical. Garganical. So Miascarada definitely has to go in here. I do think he's going to trick room. But does Arbe Oh yeah, I mean, look, there's, there's a Ferregoraf again. So I think Armor Rouge... Uh, just do the same thing, right? Surely. Hydreigon. I think this should be fine, right? Uh, Hydreigon is a bit of a mm, option. Maybe Soul Gun instead, but I think this should be fine. Here's the plan. If he leads Hariyama and Ferregraph, I'm just double trick rooming. He's going to fake out one of them. I just trick room to cancel his, and then we should be fine. Let's see. Who is he sending out? Ferregraph, Hariyama. He's going to fake out trick room, so I just double trick room, and we should be fine, right? It's a good thing we went up against the same lead previously, so... Trick room here, trick room here, and uh, well, this could also blow up in our face spectacularly. This is a Master Ball rank player, so let's, he's also double our rank, so let's see if he knows what's happening. Fake out, okay, that's fine. We still get it for trick room from our Mia Skorada. Does his Furugoraf cancel it though? Yep, okay, that's great. This is great. This is actually great. I'm so glad I went up against that other team then earlier. So now that we have the priority, and he can't fake us out, surely we just flower trick psychic the Horiyama. I don't know if this is enough to KO because we were able to one hit KO. Okay, this should this should. Because I was going to say, the uh, the Armourish was, was able to 1 KO, but that was because of a debuff. Debuff? Defense debuff. Okay, double crit. I don't think the double crit mattered, but I'm pretty sure taking out a half health it was able to do it. Okay, he still trick rooms, though. That's interesting. He really wants to get up this trick room. Even without the Hariyama. Uh, this does put us in a kind of an awkward situation because all of our team is very fast aside from armor rouge i could try and wait it out right i could try and stall it out Gorganical most likely has salt cure right so i could just trick him again right and constantly cancel it out salt cure is kind of scary though do i want to wait it out or do i want to try and go on the offensive by canceling i think i'm going to try and cancel it so trick room and i'll oh, just psychic i don't know if psychic was a good player i think i may i should have done something different Body press does a lot of damage. Wow. Body press did a lot. He's probably going to Shadow Ball into... Oh, Dazzling Gleam! Oh, that does KO the Meow Squad. Okay, this is uh, kind of scary now. Maybe maybe I should have tricked him on Arm Rouge as well. Psychic is not going to do too much, I think. Ah, mm, mm, off HP is... Not that bad. But leftovers, though. Okay, everything else is kind of... Maybe Hydreigon, Tailwind, Trick Room, I guess. That's uh, the only thing I can think of right now. Body Press, though, is very scary, I think. Oh, wait, that's not me, is it? Is that me? Uh, I mean, I mean, I'll take it. If, if that's a win for me, I, I'll take it. I don't, I don't know, I'm not going to complain. Did that count as a win for us? I mean, a win's a win, so... Yeah, no. <laughs> ah, there it is. To commemorate your victory, a Master Rank Ribbon is given to each Pokemon in your battle team. And because this is our own homegrown battle team, what better could we ask for? 